family, 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 family. I'm excited about Jackson State this year because they have a myriad of things that they're returning. They're returning their offensive line, veteran group. They're healthy. They're not dealing with nagging injuries led by Evan Henry. They're returning their quarterbacks, Jacoby and Morgan. You saw what he could do last season. Their DBs that led in interceptions throughout the nation, not just in the conference, throughout the nation in picks. Defensive line returning a bunch of veterans. This is T.C. Taylor's team. You all should be excited, and I'm going to chime in. Let's go. What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. Today, we're going to talk about the Jackson State run game, and this is part of the series Keys to the Season for Jackson State. I'm excited to talk about this topic because we all know everyone that listens, that pays attention to football, knows that the key to every championship besides defense is a strong run game. And that starts with the leader of the run game, Irv Mulligan. I've talked to plenty of coaches, especially uh, people who are fans of HBCUs. When you bring up Irv Mulligan, the comparison, the pro comparison that I get, and I'm not saying he's him like that, but the swag version. He's a swag version of Marshawn Lynch. Just the tenacity, the way he breaks tackles, the way that he occasionally goes for the home run, just just breakout run. That's him. He's him. And if he's healthy this season, now, you know, in football, you're going to have little nicks and pains here and there, and you can play through them. If he doesn't have major injuries, knock on wood, I expect Irv Mulligan to have over a thousand yards easily. If Irv Mulligan does this, and if Jackson State goes far, that's going to be more accolades for him. Then the scouts are going to pay attention to that. And you know how the NFL scouts are. Let's be honest. They like to see you play against FBS teams to see how you do. So when they play against UL Monroe, they're going to showcase them. Now, they're going to be strategically so he can be healthy for the season. You know how it is with these money games. Irv Mulligan, the ultimate tone setter, averaged over 5.5 yards per carry. He is a threat. He is the reason that defense is key in on him, and that's going to open the pass game up and play action. But this run game is like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. You're asking yourself, why would I compare it to that? Because they got every type of running back that you need for Jackson State. They got you do-it-all running back in Irv Mulligan, who is the tone setter. Then they got Mr. Versatility, Mr. Jack of all trades, and J.D. Martin. And J.D. Martin, I feel like, can be a lot better. He's a shifty back. He can catch out the backfield. He's probably one of the fastest running back. Probably is the fastest running back. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Maude Miller last season showed me some things that he was a true freshman. And he plays with a lot of heart. And I know there's more running backs. Desmond Moultrie, which, you know, goal line back, power back. But he's useful. This running game, and I didn't even mention the freshmen. I'm going to wait till the freshmen. I'm only mentioning the players that played last season that are returning because the freshmen got to prove themselves, even though I'm hearing great things about them. 
those four names that I mentioned is going to cause hell for opposing not only SWAC defenses, all of FCS. I'm not making it up because people I know that are close to this team, they tell me everything. So there's nothing I don't know about Jackson State and know what they can do. That's why I'm very confident about this team. Very confident. The run game is your friend. Back to Irv Mulligan. He's going to want to prove a point. He wants that SWAC player of the year. He wants to take his team to the SWAC championship game and then celebration bowl and to win it. It's not going to be easy, but this schedule helps it. <laughs> the schedule helps. This is a favorable schedule. Let's not lie now. It's just as a fan of football, I'm a big fan of running backs that takes the punishment to the competition. When he trucks someone, when he stiffs on someone, they feel that. Another reason why the Jackson State running game is going to be even better than last season. Last season, T.C. Taylor was the first year head coach. And as the first year head coach, everyone's trying to uh, know their identity with the team know their position, uh, situational football. They get that now. I think every running back for this team knows who they are, knows uh, there's a goal line back, there's a uh, first 20 yard back, there's uh, the third down back. We already know about Irv Mulligan. He's the every down back. But I think every running back on this team knows what to do and they don't have to be second guessing and just looking deer in the headlights. You know how it is when it's your first year with a new coach. If I'm the Jackson State running back group and I had a designated team goal, that would be to rush for over 2,000 plus positive net yards. I repeat, 2,000 plus positive net yards. Because if you do that, it increases the win total. Not too many SWAC teams have the type of D-line that can stop a powerful run game. I know FAMU does. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what Alabama State has on that defensive line front. They lost a lot in the portal. I know they added some in the portal, but they have some new faces there. They have some new faces there at linebacker. So I still want to check them out on that. But besides those two teams, there's not going to be that, in my opinion, unless there's a transfer portal D tackle that I'm not hearing about. <laughs> there's not too many teams that are going to stop that run game. So it wouldn't surprise me if they get that number. If they get that number, it's going to be trouble, trouble. <laughs> and lastly, before you can have a run game, you must have stout offensive line. And when you have veteran returning offensive line and Evan Henry and Kirk Ford, that makes it a lot easier. And then you add in the underclassmen who are over 300 plus pounds. The entire offensive line of Jackson State, I repeat, is over 300 freaking pounds. Now, I know there's going to be a shine that says, well, there's couple teams that have linemen over 300 plus pounds the entire offensive line think now <laughs> and then you add transfers who played at fbs who has the positional size that they're looking for 300 plus pounds this is going to be an effective power running game when you return offensive line you can only go up as an offense the offense wasn't their problem. I, I know the new offensive scheme, uh, the injury to Jacoby and Morgan at the beginning of the year didn't help, but I saw some great things. And I'm looking forward to what this Jackson State offense could be led by the Jackson State run game. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you all that have been hitting me up, saying they love my videos and miss my commentary. 
I appreciate it because I do these videos for you guys. Uh, I love football. I love the camaraderie of football. I love the fa family type of energy of football. And every time I talk about football with you all, it's a blessing. Thank you all for the positive vibes. We need more of that in this world. Y'all know how dark this world is. We got haters, man. We got people that want others to fail. We got people that want to just agitate good people. This is the world we live in. So when we could bring more positivity and good synergy around, that makes it all worthwhile. I appreciate and thank you all. Look out for part two. This is Raw Truth Media. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'm out.